Hi, it's Pat Gillis here. And I think one of the biggest concerns that I've found that our adult riders who are just sort of embarking on this venture, adventure, I think the biggest fear most adult riders have is the fear of getting hurt. And you know, what makes horses sort of different than learning to ride a bicycle or, or learning to drive a car or whatever is that if you're going to learn to drive a car, you don't have to learn to be an auto mechanic, right? It, it's not a necessary skill set for you to have. Um, you just need to know how to, you know, use the brake and the gas pedal and things like that. When It's a same, different with horses, right? Because when you're dealing with horses now, you're dealing with a, a living, breathing creature that has a mind of his own. And so what I always tell my, my adult riders, um, first of all, you've got all sorts of reasons in the world to be worried about getting hurt because we've all got a lot of things to do in life, right? We're not like you know, a 10 year old kid that's going to have somebody look after us, we have things we have to do. So who can afford to be, you know, laid up a little bit injured or something if you're, if you've got a busy life, right? So that's a perfectly valid fear. But the thing with horses is that if you get to know horses a little bit more, learn a little bit more about them, they're always giving you um, information and feedback the way an automobile or a bicycle doesn't, you know, that will tell you how to stay safe. Like a horse has an amazing early warning system in in that he notices his, his um, surroundings all the time, right? So if you learn to pay attention to the signals that the horse gives you, you're going to stay a lot safer just by being aware all the time. Um, the other thing I recommend is that always work with every single horse like it is some young two-year-old thoroughbred off the track that's wild and crazy. Make all of your habits always the same. Always, always, always. Have systems that you work with with horses where you never take a chance. So this guy, um, this is Gus, and Gus is one of my great beginner horses. Like he's so good with beginners. He's so quiet. He's so gentle. But every single student we have that works with Gus, we stress to them, you do everything the right way. We never say, oh, don't worry, it's just Gus. It's it's, it's never, it's only just Gus. You treat the, these kind of horses exactly the same way that you treat the young, excitable horses. And then at some point, when those systems are so ingrained in your mind and you're so used to, you know, picking up early warning systems and things like that, you'll be ready for the challenge of dealing with a slightly more emotional horse than a horse like Gus. Gus, it takes a little bit to light a fire under Gus, right? And, um, you know, in our business, we call horses like this bomb proof. And, you know, they're, they're worth their weight in gold, horses like this. And I recommend for adult beginners, you seek out these kind of horses. Play with these kind of horses. Make all of your mistakes with these kind of horses because these guys are the ones that will forgive it and you won't get hurt like that. And when you learn to do things correctly with the gusses of this world, um, you'll end up being able to take all of those skills to horses that are a little bit more advanced and a little bit more maybe athletic or no offense Gus, a little bit more, you know, a bit more challenging to ride. Like some of the, you know, a horse like this, if you've been riding for a long time, you may start to find, um, I don't want him to hear this, but you might start to find that he's a little bit boring to ride because he's very predictable and he's, but this is why he's wonderful, right? He's perfect for beginners. But as, you know, as riders get more advanced, they might want something a little bit more challenging, right? And that makes sense. But what you want to do is in the learning phases, deal with horses like us so that you can make all your mistakes here. Anyway, um, that's just my theory, but I understand why adults are nervous about getting hurt, but really riding is not as dangerous as you think. Um, you want to be prepared and you want to put the time into understanding the partner that you're working with. And when you do that, you'll find that this is a lot less scary than you think. So if you're watching this anywhere besides at our blog, which is at ismyhorsehappy.com, go on over there, scroll down, let me know if you're trying to embark on this adventure of learning to ride horses. You'll never regret it. Um, it's a great sport and it's never too late to start. So I'll see you next week and remember to thank your horse.